Trinidad is an island in the Caribbean Sea, located off the northern coast of South America. Sighted by Columbus in 1498, Trinidad was colonized by Europeans and largely populated by Africans who worked the plantations. After the abolition of slavery in 1845, work on the plantations shifted to indentured contract laborers from India who brought the religions, customs, foods, and flavors of South Asia to the island. If you visit Trinidad in the Islamic month of Muharram and find yourself in the rural village of Cedros or in the St. James district of Trinidad's capital, Port of Spain, you would be swept up in a bewildering procession that integrates elements from the Middle East, South Asia, and the Caribbean. This is Trinidad's Jose. Jose is a passion play on a grand scale, combining fervent piety with the demands of street theater as it evokes a key moment in the history of Islam. In the seventh century, Imam Hussein, a grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, marched with a small group of followers towards Baghdad to negotiate a truce with the Caliph. While under the flag of peace, they were attacked and resisted heroically. But by noon of the 10th day, Hussein and most of his followers had been slain on the plains of Karbala in present-day Iraq. This event precipitated the split between Shiites and Sunnis that persists today. And all over the Shiite world, Hussein's martyrdom at Karbala is symbolically reenacted during Muharram. Jose writes in Trinidad to find a community of both believers and observers. The heart of the Jose is 10 days of prayer and fasting, climaxed with three nights of drumming and processions. The key rituals are the province of a few families, but the preparations that intensify in the weeks preceding the public events involve widening circles of participants. Jose honors a past stretching back to 7th century Iraq and solidifies relationships in the overlapping religious, racial, and cultural communities of present-day Trinidad. The first set of indentured in immigrants, Indian immigrants that came here to Trinidad was on the 30th of May in the year 1845. And from then on, we had a boat arriving almost every six months with Indian immigrants. From 1845 to 1917, we had approximately 100,000 Hindus and uh, approximately 30,000 Muslims coming within those years. The Muslims kept their identity by to, to, to themselves and the Hindus kept their identity to themselves. But within the last 30 years or 40 years, I must say, that this sort of practice has been finished away with and everybody is now freely intermixing, even though they still maintain their own religious identity. It was not until 1854 that the first Tazia was built in Trinidad. The Taja, also called the Jose, represents the tomb of Hussein. It is built on a framework of reeds and wood covered in cardboard. Four Tajas are built in St. James, a neighborhood of Trinidad's capital, Port of Spain. The construction takes place in compounds or yards and is organized around families. This is Balma Yard, and the chief builder is Noble Biznot. The Tajas are built in what are known as imambaras, garages and sheds temporarily sanctified for this purpose. Women are not allowed inside. We have our own style, you know. You, uh, you can observe from last year. Last year they had a, like more moss. We had more like a castle. You know, as I say, we're going modern. We identify that going up St. James, they just have dark spots. And sometimes you're looking at it, you say you can't even identify where you're seeing. So we decided to come up with the lights so that right here you'll be seeing, you'll be identifying where you're looking at and not just guessing. Well, this yard really gets its name from the Gulam Hussein, the man Gulam Hussein himself. He was 
a man of great respect within the community and such and he had a lot of talent and art something you know in those days you know the old days then. from the day of Bakre Yido, Yido Ada, that is the day that Father Abraham was called upon to sacrifice his son. That is on the 10th day of the last Islamic lunar month, Zilhaj. From that day, 